Today we had some rain, and which is really good because oh, it has been so so dry. I ordered some asparagus, and uh, I'm going to show you in a minute where I'm planting that. But first, let's take a look at this. Isn't she gorgeous? These iris, which I'll show you again when they bloom. Hmm. Our friend the crow. Um, they were originally in my grandmother's garden and then in my mom's and then in mine and so like they're over 50 years old the original rhythms so I've schlepped them everywhere and to Nova Scotia too but in my last garden these uh, wild flocks I can't remember what they're called I think that's what they're called wow what does that crow want uh, anyway these flocks they they seed themselves everywhere and they smell so fabulous and they're, they're so great to have at the beginning of the season but unfortunately they're smack right in the middle of uh, the iris so I'm going to collect their seeds this year and move them anyway let's go see what the asparagus is doing look how much the willow has leafed out oh I just I love this tree she is such a beauty. Look at the span underneath. So it is a great place to sit and think about the world. I don't know if you remember last year, but I put this perennial garden in last year. And probably around this time of year, or maybe it was a bit later, and things are coming along really well. Uh, stuff bloomed to a certain degree last year, but I think you know this year it'll have a better showing. And behind it, there will be there's all kinds of lupins coming up. Look at this! Isn't this pretty? So delicate. And this too, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, there's wild. There's wild lupins growing everywhere, and a few have just started to bloom. Oh, I can't wait. It means, it means I'm going to get to paint them again. I planted this little tree here. It was from a sapling out front, and it certainly seems to like it in this spot. So I think I'm going to dig up a few more, because as you can see, we have... Uh, a pretty flat landscape here and I think it would be nice to have a few trees. So this is the huge garden area that Larry Roto tilled and you can see that there's millions of little um, weeds that are coming up in it again. I'm going to have to rake it over. And uh, it's going to be the long weekend in May this weekend. But it's still not, it's still too early to plant sensitive things in Nova Scotia. How do you like those garlic? Aren't they gorgeous? The peas are up, and soon it will be time to, um, to, to put in some strings so that they can have some support. And here's the spot where I'm planting the asparagus. So I have three rows going and three in each row and then realized that I actually had ordered double that amount so um, looks like I need to dig some more as you can see the pond has really dropped in water I think it's I don't think there's a leak we've although we're not sure um, I think it just seeps out naturally and partly because there has been so little rain. Now it's it rained this morning and last night and so there's a little bit of a trickle coming down but it's nothing like the gush that we had before. 
so we'll see. There's still tadpoles in there. Here comes Larry with a coffee for the gardener and he's going to help me dig a couple more rows, which is really nice. Oh, I think he even has cookies. Coffee. Do I have time for an early afternoon coffee? I do. Good. I've got a cup for you then. Thank you, dear. So long. Um, this is the asparagus bed that's getting planted. I I misjudged how many asparagus roots I bought. I thought I only had bought nine, but I bought 18. And this is what they look like. Excuse me, there's a black fly eating my eye. Yes, I should get danger pay out here. Anyway, this one is interesting and has really long roots. So you make a little mound with compost and then fan this over the mound and plant it. Kind of like this. Well, actually that's a bad mound because it's got a hunk of dung in it. <laughs> okay, we want well-rotted manure. Fan that around a bit, and then, whoops, without the weeds though. This earth, we haven't uh, used this part of the garden ever before, so Larry plowed it all up, but it is, you know, it, it'll have lots of weeds in it for a couple of years until we get it all sorted out. Lots of work, but you know what? It's good fresh air, and there we go. We won't see anything happening. Um, I mean, we won't be able to eat the asparagus for three years. But uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know how it works out. See all this stuff here? This is all goat weed. And it's going to flower soon too. It's very pretty when it flowers. And it's very green and, well, why fight it? Our apple tree isn't really blossoming this year much, but I hear that sometimes they um, bloom sort of every other year. Whereas this little one up here, it is in bloom. This is my other perennial bed. Um, and these were all kind of thrown in in the fall. I'm really pleased that so many of them have actually taken because it was late when I planted them. But you can see that these aren't as developed as, uh, you know, as the ones that are in the other bed. And I wanted to show you these gorgeous forget-me-nots. They've planted themselves here. Well, I mean, I guess at some point someone planted them, but they've spread all over. Aren't they just fabulous? Nature. Isn't she wonderful? Aren't they so pretty? And then there are gazillions of little maple saplings that have sprouted here from these ancient trees and these are some of the saplings that I'll try to move around and place in other spots but look at look how gorgeous this is welcome to paradise <laughs>